In some cases, it is a large multiple thousands of dollars just for the hardware, again, not including the staff. The Managed Router Service Offering does cover the SmartNet agreements, the maintenance agreements with the vendor with Cisco. That, that can be a big expense too. Definitely predictable, much better than that big upfront shock expense. When you factor in the price of what it would take for the end user to purchase the equipment themselves, to hire staff either on a full-time basis or even to hire somebody as a consultant to come in, that price can add up quite high and quite fast, especially if it's a larger project, a larger deployment. With the managed router service offering, that's more of a lease per se, so they can budget that much better accordingly.